Ooh, we made it home. We're home. It's the next day actually. And I like I forgot to record filleting like half the fish, so I'll probably record the next half tomorrow if I remember. But we did get these two or these fish. We got something already back and stuff, but these are set aside. And this is what we're gonna be making for dinner tonight. I think I'm just making what are we making? Fish, fish sticks. Fish sticks. Oh yeah, just simple fish sticks. So uh, I got the rock bass and Jav's got the uh, bard. The bard surf perch. Yeah, bard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to start to get ready, to get prepped for cooking. Okay, 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 okay. So we gotta chop up some fish. Yeah, are you just splitting your fish in half? Or are you going to do in whole fillets like that? Um, I think I'll split them in half. All of them? Yeah. Okay. You want me to split them for you? Yes, please. Okay, so we're going to split Java's fish for her. Simple. Uh. Okay. Simple. <laughs> so cool. Oh, they look so cool when they're clean. And these were honestly the cleanest fish. <laughs> I could have sworn you said you were gonna uh, scale and gut them. <laughs> I was wrong. Well, I think we we're going to get to it, but we didn't have time. I just need to get them on, off the water and the ice because we weren't sure if they were cold. And so I just like dried them off to get them in the fridge. Yeah. And then we never got back to like, because then the next day we went fishing. Yeah. Like so. I'm so glad though that deer meat for dinner did that experiment. He literally had fish in his fridge for like two weeks, like 13 days or something. Yeah. And he tried it like pretty much, you know, almost not every night, but yeah. as it aged, he kept trying it, see if it, you know, when it turned. Mm -hmm. I think he said about the 13th day is when it actually started getting kind of soft and mushy. Oh. Like noticeably, yeah. And but you know he's taking good care of it though. Sure. So Java's gonna have fish fingers. Looks like mm -hmm. <laughs> you're having fish fingers. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for Mhm. Mm and then I'm having fish sticks. I don't know what the difference is, but. We have a concert tomorrow, so I'm excited for that. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Belly and loin. Let's go out in the town. It's gonna be nice out. Just to watch. Yeah, we're watching Devin Townsend with animals as leaders and Dream Theater. Who's opening? I think animals as leaders. And then Devin and, then and then Dream Theater. Theater. Sweet. It's Dream Sonic 2023 is the tour. What does that mean? That's just the name of it, Dream Sonic. So I think the Dream Theater, it's their like production, mm. and I'm so excited for the lineup. So That's excited. true. Okay, just like this. All right, so we got big chunks and little chunks, and I have one bag here. I'm just gonna cheat code it all. We're going to do a light salting. I only salt one side of the surf perch because they're so thin. Oh yeah. I I used to double side them, and then it's always nasty salty, you know. Mm -hmm. Surf perch definitely tastes fishy when you put too much salt. Okay. So you want to avoid over salting surf perch for sure. I'm do some onion and some salt. Who's that? Okay. Light 
drizzling of onion powder on all my fish. Not a lot. It doesn't. It's not a big deal. It's just light seasoning. We're actually going to be breading it anyway, so this is just literally for uh, light. Bring out some of the natural flavor. Okay, these guys I want for these guys over for sure. But still, avoid over salting. Just like that. Boom, boom. Okay. Will you get me cornstarch, darling? I'm gonna sip some cornstarch on top of these things just to light dust them. Reason being is because I'm trying to avoid um, putting too much cornstarch. I don't need a major smothering. Okay, now flip that over again. I was going to put these in the in the um, bag. I still might, but okay. We're going to start the fan and turn on the oil. We always want a little higher than you're actually going to cook at, because as soon as you start dropping fish in, it starts getting cold. How much oil do you put in? Um, just like a thick layer okay. just so you can at least cook the skin through you know because the fish itself cooks really quick and the skin actually stops it from cooking yeah. or slows it down from cooking yeah that looks great So yeah, you're able to dust all this with two tablespoons of cornstarch. It's not too shabby. Yeah, we didn't have that. Bro, what you not saying? I really said we didn't have. I really said it wasn't holy fish. Okay, so let me go ahead put these all in this bag here. Okay, along with that, we're gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of garlic powder. Just a little bit. I don't wanna take over the taste of the fish. I've done that plenty of times. And surf perch is very delicate. You don't wanna ruin the flavor too much. Okay, now we're gonna make an egg dredge. It doesn't even have to be big. It could be a lid, actually. Yeah, it could be a lid. Then I need an egg. <laughs> you got one. I will use one of the ones that we have a lot of. Thank you, honey. I'll take the speckled egg. Along with some heavy cream. Drops the eggs. Bloop. Little frame. And then the weirdness. Little fish sauce.
chopsticks. Mm -hmm. Would you mind pouring me some cornstarch? For that much, we'll probably need. I'll just eyeball it. <laughs> oh no, yeah. We'll need at least that much. It's not quite that much. Or half corn a cup. Starch? Yeah, we'll need a cup of not cornstarch, a cup of uh, almond flour. Yeah. Most likely two though for that much. Yeah. Okay, so we got a cup of almond flour. We got our egg dredge with chopsticks. And we have our fish all ready to go. We just need a We just need something to put our fish when they're done. <laughs> okay. Big chunky fish first. There's a big chunky chunk. Into the egg wash first. Into the almond flour second. Okay. Ugh. Into the oil, let it go. All right, second chunk. Thin. Third chunk. In. Fourth chunk. Getting ready. Dredged. In. All right. That should be good for now. Got to flip one of them. You got to be careful with fish when you're cooking. It can easily burn very quickly. So you can't just leave it there. Like, oh, I'll just go wash something really quick. I'd flip them back over, you know? The surfers won't take this one for good. Okay, just lightly. Oh, God, come on. Okay. All right. Next chunks of fish. One and two eggs. How are they looking? Yeah, it's right over here. Whoa. Get back over there. 
if I don't have any lemon. And there we have the finished product. Woohoo! And then there's Java's plate. There's red tail surf perch. Looks delicious. And then my black rock fish from the jetty. All ready and ready to go. You want to go first? Sure. Let's say a quick prayer really quick. Um, okay. All right. Thank you, O oh Lord, for these guys' gifts which you're about to receive to your bounce from Christ our Lord. We just when we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's to try. Okay, I'm gonna taste it without oh, sauce. Yeah. Mmm, so good. What's it like? What's it like? It's just enough breading. Of course, the perch is not like really flaky, but it's just really tasty and it holds up like a fish finger. It doesn't like fall apart. Yeah. And it's dippable. Sweet. Mm. Yummy. How about you? We'll try a loin first. Big chunk. No, mm. yeah, no uh, sauce. No sauce. Ooh. It's flaky. Yeah, it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. How is it? Tender. Slightly sweet. Mm -hmm. Salty. It tastes that. The buttery of the fat and the skin. And then you can taste the little bit of the onion and garlic spice that we put on there. Yeah. But it's delicate at the same time. Firm but delicate. It's really good. Yeah. Let's try it with a... I'll go with just classic ketchup. Simply ketchup. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's that classic... Fish stick or a um, battered fish yeah, that you want with the ketchup, you know, in the basket. I want fries with it, but we did a low, low carb with um, almond flour instead, with very little cornstarch, like two tablespoons for the whole thing, and barely even for for both fishes or both servings. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, it's really good. I really like it. I want more rockfish. Let's try yeah. the barbecue sauce. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is Skippers. Yeah. Yum. It tastes like halibut at Skippers. Yum, yum. Alright. Would you like to taste the. Uh, some oh, rockfish? Sure. I'll give you the best version I've tried so far. Thank you. Mm hmm. Oh. Uh, you didn't give me a chance to put the camera on you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was in a hurry. Mmm. That is like very delicate but firm. Different than the perch. The perch is definitely just delicate. Put them up and close soft. so you compare them. Yeah, have it right there. Yeah. See, it's yeah. larger flakes. Yeah. A lot more sturdy. This one's just a lot more kind of flaky and mushy, it would be called, but it's still really delicious. Yeah. We well, won't focus, but yeah, you get the point. <laughs> anyway, that was our our uh, fishing trip, and uh, and the meal was really delicious. We had fun out there. Glad we went. I know. I'm so glad I got to get out there, and I was hooking up. I would have probably had oh, 13 fish. I think I would have had probably 16. So I, I didn't really gone. lose too many. Yeah, I, I could have brought home so many more barred, but I figured I had so much ready. So. And we did. And vacuum packed a lot of like fish taco party packs. Now on our diet, like we I, we like to keep things pretty simple, so that's why we just eat fish sticks a lot. But there's other ways you can cook the fish, you know, infinite ways. But this is one of our most favorite ways. 
for this size. Like the rockfish would have been really good still with the um, our steamed fish that we do. Is there, is there another the, the larger red right? tail. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. That's not the half of the line. Oh. It's still freaking good. But yeah, I'll try to come up with other recipes that are a little more keto or carnivore friendly. And share it. That'd be good. Now we're going to enjoy our meals. Yes, we are. We'll get Thank back you. to you guys later on. Bye. Bye.